convinced that uh, we could take a lesson out of their book of life. There's no, there's no fine print in their love for you, and that's it. Hang on a minute, what's going on? Uh, Mick, I'm just on the air. It did, well, all over the world. What do you mean all over? The, well, do you know what the world is? I, I'm on the YouTube at the moment. But look, because it's a sense of urgency, Mick, this is Mick, and we wish Mick well because he hasn't been 100%. I need two dozen small scrub worms and a dozen big scrub worms and a little bottle of uh, vanilla essence. And I'll come out tomorrow when the bridge is not too busy and I'll pick them up. Good on you and all the best to Mel, Mick. Good on you. The silence is working, but I could feel this thing uh, rotating in my leg, and I thought, I'll owe me luck's changed, but that's a bit. Mick has got the best scrub worms. And I think uh, a few shows ago, I, I, spoke, uh, I spoke of keeping scrubbies, and you can keep them all year round in that peat moss that you put in your hanging basket, that sort of thing. And, and you might say, what on earth does he want a tiny little bottle of uh, vanilla essence? Uh, I've also got some nice uh, aniseed essence at home, and just a little bit of flavour in the burley, which is ground bait for you people across in the northern hemisphere, to attract the fish. And with the ground bait and the burley, you feed them just enough to get them interested. So uh, I think you should know exactly uh, that I prepare and I practice what I preach. As I just don't go fishing and fish for something that swims out there. I go fishing like I will be tomorrow for redfin and I will target them with beautiful scrub worms that Mick's got for me right at the minute.